Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you the fastest way how you can make integration between Salesforce and Microsoft Outlook. First things first, uh, we have to create ourselves an account or log in to um, already created account at salesforce.com. As you can see, I'm using uh, this free uh, 14 uh, days trial account, but it will work perfectly fine. Uh, so uh, let's go and use automate.eo for this integration. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And uh, once we are here, we want to go to the top corner of our screen and click on integrations. Once the pop-up window show up, let's go to the bottom left part, uh, bottom left part, sorry, and see all categories. Right here, we want to go and click on uh, and uh, look for Salesforce. As you can see, it's right here. We click on Salesforce, and now we have to pick the counterpart for Salesforce. So it's gonna be Outlook, like this. As you can see, there's a couple of already pre-made uh, integrations, as uh, popular integrations. But if you won't be able to find the one that you're looking for, keep scrolling down and create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, we want to start with Salesforce first, not with Outlook. So let's go with like a new contact in uh, Salesforce. And on the right side, on the other hand, uh, underneath the actions, you want to start and uh, you want to pick Microsoft Outlook. Like send an email. I'm sticking to first one, but you can obviously pick whatever you want. Now we have to just try uh, hit the try it now button and you'll get redirected and asked to log into automate.eo account. We can also use uh, zapier.com, uh, which is very similar app. We also need to create an account here. Once we do that, let's go to the top left corner and click on create a zap. Zap, by the way, stands for integration, so don't be confused. On the left side, uh, you can name uh, your zap, but it's not mandatory. And uh, right here, we are starting with a trigger in our integration. So it works basically the same way like at Automate. The trigger will be Salesforce. Now we have to pick an event. It's a new record, updated, uh, updated record and so on. So let's stick to the first one, continue. Now we have to log in with the account that we created just a moment ago. We hit continue. Now set up a trigger, Salesforce object. As you can see, you can pick from also whatever you like. Continue. And now we can test the trigger. On the second part, underneath the actions, as you probably thought, we are going to pick Microsoft Outlook. Also, we have to pick an event, so stick to the first one, continue. And now we just have to log in to the account on uh, Microsoft Outlook. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.